Hi there, Maria. Happy to see that you have written some essays for us. Great work. Let's take a look and see what you've done here. The first ta task you wrote is task one. It's the car sales, um, the bar chart. Let's see how you dealt with this. Okay, so the given bar chart illustrates the number of cars sold in various European states in 2018. More specifically, the chart shows sales of three different car brands. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's see how you develop this. Two countries, Italy and Belgium, show relatively low numbers, S, of purchased cars, especially if compared to Hungary and France, states with over 300,000, no S, sold cars. Interestingly, it is BMW that comprises the largest proportion of cars sold, no, of sold cars in Italy, whereas in Belgium, Ford brand is the most popular car type. Another interesting feature is the fact that Ford is the most demanded car brand in Belgium, whereas in other countries, all the three brands are almost equivalently popular. On the contrary, in Germany, comma, Ford is the least favorable type of car, with Audi and BMW being almost equally distributed on the corresponding bar. To sum up, not only do car sales vary significantly among the countries in question, but also does the relative popularity of the cars depending on the considered state. Okay, um, so the good news here, Maria, with your answer is that the grammar is very good. Um, there was a mistake here. Um, not, but, not also does, but so does. Okay, that's what this should have been. So not only do car sales vary significantly there was a spelling mistake here, I think. Yes, uh, among the question, the question, but so does the relative popularity of the cars depending on the considered state. Now, so a lot of the grammar is really good. Um, a lot of the vocabulary is also appropriate, fine, no problems. But there is just not enough data here. Let's take a look at what kind of data you provided. So here, France over three hundred thousand cars. Then. There is absolutely no other data. What I want you to do is I want you to check the band descriptors for task one and look at task achievement. Okay, so what I have done to make your life easier is I have found the band descriptors. Um, okay, here they are. This is for task one. Take a look at this. Uh, it says there may be no data to support the description. And that's what's happening here. Now, in this entire answer, you gave one piece of data. That's it, just one. So there are no figures anywhere else. Um, and in fact, this whole chart had, if I remember correctly, about 36 pieces of data, if you really think about it, because you had the total, actually even more, because you had the total number, and then you had the specific numbers for the three different car brands. So you had a lot of data here. And the only thing that you mentioned is this one, okay? So clearly that's not enough. It's like one equals none. It's as if you didn't have any. So this would really mark down your score for task achievement, all right? And I would hate to see that happen. So you absolutely need to include more data in your answer, okay? Other than that, you had a lot of nice elements to your answer. So um, good job. Um, some nice uh, linkers, some good vocabulary. All right, but definitely the lack of data is going to be um, a huge problem. So definitely work on that a little more, okay? Let's take a look now at your task two. It's international marketing. Let's see what you did here. Whether international marketing products such as fashion and media have a negative effect on local languages and cultures is a controversial topic. Proponents of the international marketing, of international marketing without the, suggest that people benefit from consuming identical fashion and media throughout the world. Opponents, with whom I strongly agree, claim that international marketing harms, intrudes and harms local cultures. All right, I want you to be careful. They're not talking about international product, international marketing products, and you've given us these two specific things. They're talking about international marketing in general as, as a concept and as a practice. So I don't know why you're focusing so much on, inter on uh, fashion and media. Uh, I can tell you right away that reading this introduction Although the grammar and the language is all very good, I'm worried that it's an answer that's going to go off topic, okay? So let's see what you actually did here. 
One of the greatest negative effects S of international marketing, know the, on local communities can be observed in the indigenous people of the Andes and their national clothes. For instance, in certain parts S of South America, comma, women of older generations S prefer to wear the traditional outfit. On the contrary, the younger generation, due to the introduction of universal fast fashion, coupled E D with Western culture, is keen on buying brands like Zara and H&M. Unfortunately, this is an example of irreversible damage to the local culture of the Andes. Okay, now check it out. It's a good example, but you really needed to extend it further. You needed to say why international marketing is the culprit behind this. Okay, um, so it definitely needs a little more meat to it. Um, you, it looks like you could have really answered it with a nice example, but you didn't have enough information to really link it back to the topic, which is international marketing. Okay, let's move on. On the other hand, the spread of international marketing, especially media, has a positive side effect. Media products such as online educational courses enhanced by via fast internet connection allow people to get access to knowledge and skills which are in high demand. Educational services, as for instance Coursera, has definitely have have educational services have definitely had a profound impact on careers of multiple individuals by allowing them to improve their employability skills. Okay, again, there's a very similar thing happening here. Um, I need to know how international marketing is behind this. Okay, so it almost sounds like you're just saying that products that are available internationally, which is more about globalization and not so much about international marketing. Um, so it almost feels like there is a misunderstanding of the topic here. Okay, uh, however, since you were really close by adding one or two sentences that really linked it back to the uh, initial prompt, um, the problem could have been solved. Okay? So moving on. Although some aspects of international marketing may seem positive, the here, the overall negative impact on local indigenous communities, carefully spelling, is obvious. Given the above mentioned examples of traditional outfits of the Andes, it is evident that such a society may irreversibly lose one of its cultural aspects. Society, it's okay. Um, so some really nice vocabulary here, some really nice examples. You just need to kind of structure your answer a little um, differently in order to make it more developed and get it linked back to the prompt more closely. All right. Um, okay. So that's pretty much this um, video correction. I hope you found it helpful. I think that if you continue to work with us, you're definitely on the right track to doing well on your IELTS. I'd like to see more work from you. I'd like to see more essays. Um, I'm not sure when you're taking the exam. I don't know if you wrote it in your email. Um, if you have time, I would definitely like to see you on the online course because I think you'll find tons and tons of information that will help you progress. Um, otherwise, of course, there's the essay correction option, which I think would also be really helpful to you. So either way, uh, whatever you choose, I would really like to see more essays from you. I think we can definitely help you improve and get you the IELTS score that you need. So I look forward to seeing more of your essays, and I want to wish you lots of luck.